My name is Mark Power. I'm a photographer from Brighton in England. When I first heard about the home project, that title, I think my immediate reaction was to make something which was, was personal. To my children, you know, this has always been home. I'm being forced to tidy my room. And I suppose, you know, you build up a family unit. But in September, so in a, in a month's time, um, Chili's actually going to be going away to uh, study fine art for herself in London. So she will actually be leaving home. So um, for any parent, this is a, you know, a, a quite a traumatic experience, not least, uh, and, and also, of course, for Chili herself. So I wanted, to, I wanted to photograph our family life within this home, but also to go on a series of long walks away from the front door. So not using public transport or my car or anything, just going out and walking for as long as it takes. I still love photography as much as I ever did. It's, um, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's a sort of um, passport into other people's lives. And it's, um, it's, um, it's an excuse to be nosy and it's an excuse to travel and see, see places that you haven't seen before. Well, I made a couple of forays down to the beach and just to, and I, I suppose I was lucky with the weather. It was stormy and raining and, um, but it's very hard not to feel like I'm dealing in a cliche here. Um, does it worry think, you for the project? No, I think, I think you know, I, mean, I have to think about where the work is going and, and that it's going to be seen in New York and Japan and, and, and so I suppose I, I do need to sort of um, route my real home um, to, the, to the coast of Britain. Our dog Kodak had a uh, an incident where she ended up in um, intensive care in dog hospital for two days and of course she's very much a part of our home she's only five years old so I've got this um, x-ray of her which I rather like um, which was given to me by the hospital so what I'm trying to do at the moment is um, see if I can weave this picture because aesthetically it's very different from the rest weave this picture into into the set I'm particularly interested in the way that um, certain kinds of pictures bounce off each other and uh, change the meaning of each uh, rather than cancelling each other out. It's a tightrope that we're walking all the time. This is some kind of blackhead remover. He's put on his face. <laughs> sort of an obsession of 15 year old boys. Yeah, I've seen the diptychs and triptychs that he's thinking about doing, but the ones with my brother, mm. which works so well. This is a landscape picture which obviously has the, you know, it's reminiscent of each other because of this, this kind of um, necklace shape. Photography um, tends to have a relationship with the exotic, which usually means somewhere else other than where you're from, because it, it's traditionally quite difficult to photograph somewhere which is very um, familiar to you. So that's a, a hurdle that I have to get over as well. So I've, I've been going out of my way to find these little these little corners and making these very um, quiet some might say very dull pictures but this is this is quite kind of representative of I think of, of my home where I live you know importantly I, I, I learned a long long time ago that um, I'm not trying to please everybody I mean that's absolutely impossible that I'm first and foremost I want to I want to get this right for me and I I, I um, if I can do that then I'll be happy as, as, as photographers with the agency that we're with, is, is, you know, is known as uh, a group of photographers that tends to photograph the outside world, um, but to turn the cameras on our, ourselves and on our own families, um, if indeed that's how other people have chosen to interpret it, um, would be a challenging one. So um, I started to think about what home meant for me and um, uh, and I I think it, it it's where my family is gathered. So this is Chile after her um, birthday party, looking worse for wear. To her credit, she doesn't mind me um, photographing her at her at her worst. I don't want to see them as they go along because I don't want to be self-conscious in the photos that he takes because I want him to be able to take whatever he wants. I quite like this 
this is a, as, um, as a triptych. Um, formally, because we've got these two shapes that kind of echo each other, which come off the edge of the frame, so they're not complete. But also because there's this tinge of violence in both of these pictures. Um, this sort of mangled newspaper and then this, this plastic fork stuck in the polystyrene. You know, when we finally drop her off and say goodbye and get in the car and drive away, then uh, that's probably when it's going to hit her most and hit us most as well. And I'm going to try and um, integrate that into the project because that seems to me the, to be really the key moment because it's about, you know, it's about how family shifts and adapts and changes and, um, and it's, you know, status quo is not always maintained. I think he works very hard and he is away a lot um, and he always has been but I know that <laughs> whenever he was here, especially when I was younger, um, I guess um, um, I knew that he was here 100% and if I needed him at any point, um, he was there in terms of he'd always read me a book before I went to bed and you know, no matter what time he had to get up in the morning um, and he'd always help with my homework and my coursework and if he was away I could email him with any work that I'd done and he'd always edit it and help me and I guess he's been always been very invested in my future so he's part of the reason that I'm I've done so well and that I'm able to achieve what I have done um, it's um it's a struggle because it's very hard to photograph your home it's hard to photograph your family it's hard to photograph the landscape outside the door um, that you're so familiar with um, so um, I'm I'm happy because I, I feel it's a, a rel relatively honest, well, it is an honest um, response. It's just whether or not it's going to tr um, communicate to other people and be interesting to others. That's the thing that concerns me. Um, I suppose Magnum is um, an organisation that I, I always knew about when I, uh, even before I became interested in being a photographer. I remember looking at Magnum books when I was a school kid, so it's a... Uh, it goes back a long way and it was never something I aspired to because I never thought that that would ever happen to me. And it's, it's often talked about as a kind of a family as well, which is, is yes, a kind of dysfunctional family. <laughs> but I suppose it's, it's probably a very good word for it. Yeah, maybe I should do that next. <laughs>